To allow you to develop to Windows 10 IoT on the Raspberry Pi, you need to set up a development environment on a computer that can connect over the network to the Raspberry Pi. To begin development, start by downloading the latest version of Visual Studio 2015 Community Edition. This is a free version of Visual Studio, but is fully featured. Run the Visual Studio installer and choose Custom Install. If you are going to use Python for development, expand the Programming Tools options and choose the Python tools. The Universal Windows App Development Tools are required for development on the Raspberry Pi. Expand the Windows and Web Development options and choose the Windows App Development Tools. For a project I'm working on, I need to have Xamarin Tools installed. This step is optional. To program in Node.js on the Raspberry Pi, download the Visual Studio extensions Node.js Tools 1.2 for Visual Studio 2015. This is also optional, but Node.js on the Pi makes some features like web servers possible today. Lastly, you may optionally want to download the Windows IoT Remote Client from the Windows Store. Once everything is installed, you should be able to use the IoT templates available for new projects. You should next log in to the IoT web interface. This will normally prompt you for a username and password, but I have already logged into the session. Username is administrator, and the password is what you set up when you built the IoT image. If you're going to use the IoT Remote Client, you need to check the Windows IoT Remote Server. To create an app, create a new project and select an IoT template. To debug the app remotely, click on the Debug Target drop-down and choose Remote Machine. Sometimes the Remote Machine Finder will find the IoT device immediately or with a few refreshes. Select the remote device. Sometimes you will need to manually set up the remote IP address of the device. Debugging the app will compile, publish, and deploy the app to the remote device. This process can take some time on the first deploy. An outstanding resource to get you started on your own projects is the Microsoft IoT Code Samples page. Here you will find examples for multiple languages and learning levels.